So I'd have I'd have half of it, or I'd have I'd order two. I'd have like one, and the next one I save it for later. And it was so good when you just heat it up in the microwave. Nothing wrong with that. All right, mine's Kimur. We got a very nice tournament matchup here. Both top tier civs, and we're playing against T90 official here. Very nice. Let's see what we can do in this one. I think we want to go with a lot of archers, probably. You too. Kinani really be dropping the GLHFs. Nice. That's some old school behavior right there. That's some old school boobly behavior. Love to see it. You already know this goes to YouTube? Uh, yeah, dude. It's, you already know, bro. I need to make sure it's a good game, though. Like, win or lose. I've debated throwing games to T90 before just to have YouTube content, but there's, there's just too much pride in the game. He has beaten me before once in a tournament, though. I'm surprised he didn't post that one on YouTube. That was like that was like peak content right there. That's a nice woodland. Ooh, wait. Which woodland do I take? I think I'm going to lean down here. Both are like decent. Se somewhat far away. Which is kind of bad, but... Let him win and go for clicks? No, no, I can't, I can't. I have to win. It's very important to me. I can't lose fake internet points. Not the T90. Didn't know T90 plays top tier AOE? Bro, that's what I'm saying. I actually casted a few of his games on my YouTube channel uh, lately. Or recently. And I was just showing people that T90 is actually good. He downplays it a lot because he's mainly a caster. And I understand why he he's always casting pros. Like... Imagine if he's casting a pro and then he starts talking about he, how he's pretty good. Everyone's gonna be like, bro, you're not on freaking Viper's level. Stop talking. But the, the truth is, he actually is kind of close. You know what I mean? It can be daunting when you're always casting the top pros, but he is definitely kind of close. Uh, but anyways, we got a nice match on our hands here. Mine's one of my favorite civs, obviously. All-time classic for me. Love the archers. Gonna try to get some nice archers and do some micro, honestly. That's what I really feel like doing, for the most part. Let's get a house here, that should be nice. Kimura normally kill Mezzo, right? I, would, I wouldn't I would say they kill Mezzo, I, I'd say they can keep up with Mezzo. I, I would say this is a pretty even matchup. If you prefer Kimur, take Kimur. If you prefer the Mezzo, take the Mezzo. Mines especially, I, I do think they are the best Mezzo right now. For a short period of time, it was Incas. Then Incas got nerfed a little bit. We got a slap on the wrist. And so I uh, I brought back Mines to the number one Mesosiv. In my opinion, like, Mines have been so broken for so long. They literally never get nerfed. It's like the golden child, you know? They can do no wrong. The developers see Mines terrorizing the ladder. They play it in every tournament. And they're like, oh, so cute, Mayans. Let's give them another unique tech, you know? Yeah, but the Obsidian Arrow change was, wasn't a nerf. That was a change. I think what they got in return was... It, it's like... I feel like it's not just as good. It's very different, obviously. I don't think it's as powerful as Obsidian Arrows was. But I also think it's... Very similar in the sense that it's a situationally decent, unique tech. Yeah, T90 is winning by score. I should resign. How can I ever come back from this deficit? Oh, what? This woodland is massive. Whoa, it's really big though. I have a back gold too. There's a world where I just give up my main gold. <clears throat> yeah, I'm happy I took this wood line after all. I'll do two lumber camps. Oh, wait, what? There's a. What? I got scammed. I guess I can only do one. I got actually scammed. That's crazy. Uh, that changes my plan then. Uh, 
Yeah, we gotta take main gold then. Go scout my base. It's all good in the hood. Ain't no worries. Fast up time. Oh yeah, this tea is piping hot and I'm and I'm here for it. Love that. Got a stable here? I was gonna pretend to take it and send it back, but he was on it, man. He he sent out a villager. He was not gonna get that sheep lame. You see me do that way too many times in Zernius. Got that exposed. For the range, gotta go for a spear. It's the only way to defend myself against the, sta uh, the scouts. Could go for this. This creates a nice little alcove for my bills. I, I really like doing that. This up as well. Very nice. Two spears. You might think that's overkill. But I, I think it's the right number, honestly. I mean, there's debates on how many spears you should make against scouts. Some people would really like to build up the spear numbers. They go up to 4-5. I don't like doing that, though. For me, 2 is perfect. He's got the range set up already. Yeah. That's why I'm already making eagles. He will fight this. Yeah, that's fine. Fast castle is way too important. So basically here, like the civs we have are like really strong. Whenever you have like strong broken civs, I think you have to skip for a scholar or like you have to play towards a, like some kind of fast castle. Because if you fall behind, you get snowballed too fast usually. I'm gonna try to attack with this group. I got a little crew. Four archers, two eagles. Okay. Not a bad crew. Houses. Let's see what we can find. Moving on out. Looking for some damage. Might go for the berries. Interesting that he went back there. Oh, he's making arches behind this. Interesting. Why not skirms? He has the house. That was still harass. Maybe if he forgets. I think he did forget. I oh, know. He's showing. He's showing. A lot of people forget about that house bonus. I'm gonna send the spear here just because my gold is already close to my town center. I don't think I can go in there. Stay on the outside. A lot of archers here. I think I'm gonna get cleaned up. I'm just gonna commit to it. Reasonable trade. Probably pretty good for me, actually. Well... I think we're both, like, somewhat okay with that. He lost the scouts. Uh, I lost my archer mask, which might mean that I need to make another... Uh, archer range, though. And honestly... I think I'm gonna have to do this.
No need with multiple kills, just one. Just with one, you know. I think I have to do that. Because if I lose my gold, I am so screwed. Let me just chillax a bit. Wait, what's here? Maybe I can wall. Only issue for him is that he's on archers versus Mayans now. That, that's a good uh, setup for me, usually. Nice. Good, 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 good. He sees that I have a tower, though. Nice, good micro T90. That's uh, very solid, actually. Basically, going band for band there. Oh, I messed up. That's actually really bad because I want to go crossbow and I only seven. I just can't resist. I, I just enjoy microing so much. Even if I lose, it brings a smile to my face. Yeah, I think a uh, nice little TC back there would be nice. All right, I got a couple of nice trades there back. Even things out a bit. Oh shit, yeah, true. Oh, we have to go university anyway, right? Crossbow's crossbow. Oh, you won, nice. Won the fight versus the wolf. This castle age looks like a pretty even game. I should be slightly faster on upgrades. I can push him back here a little bit. Crossbow micro is where I get much better. Um, I don't know why. I tend to play better with crossbow micro than archers. For no reason as well. I noticed more, mostly in team game. Like I'd go even in feudal and then I'd usually win in castle. Let's wait for ballistics here. It's gonna be a huge uh, advantage. I can't even get thumb ring. It's a little overkill. It's the fun way to play though. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. The problem with thumb ring here is that it's gonna delay my town center. So I have to get value with thumb ring. But if I get value with it, it's nice. Okay, let's chill for a bit. Also, I'm gonna do something real nice. These couple outposts would be huge. For my vision game. And now I have to take a good fight. He also made a tower. Interesting. I wasn't even there once. Guess there was a moment he was just scared. Shit. <laughs> That's bad. I gotta run everything. Th I mean, thank god I had the outpost, right? Might as well. I have to go back. 
This is open too. Now nah, we just have to tower. There's, there's no other choice. We tower and we attack. Oh boy, we got a messy game on our hands. This is usually the most fun. Value there. Held a nice, uh, nice tight defense there. Felt good. Nice. I, I played. I played pretty well to handle that situation, but it's not a pretty situation. Um, having to move 20 bills off wood is is always bad for the economy. No matter how you look at it, Skirm's coming out with armor. Okay, those guys are gonna be pretty strong. Definitely a good choice for him. Now I gotta get my economy down, because those skirms, I basically have no counter to them, unless I go full eagle, which I'm far away from. I could go mangonels though, actually mangonels sound good. And then economy, I promise. Crazy. That's quite the wraparound. I think I spotted it fast though. Our wood economy is suffering now. Him there, which is nice. Oh, so much micro. My wrist is not gonna be the same after this game. Oh, these guys have to go back to work. I got my economy's a mess now. What happens when you micro too much? Got so much stone. I gotta get some economy going. So let's jump to 3 TC quick, or else we're actually dead if we don't do that. And then we'll fight with the mangonels for a bit. Really let the economy slip this game. I have a castle as well. Just not sure where to put it. Out here to protect my woodlands would be amazing. Let's try that. Thing is, I might have to send my mangonels back. Make sure I get that one up. Yeah, he might have been scared because of my forward siege that he just backed up. But like, I'm scared that he'll counterattack. And he's been counterattacking all game. Yeah, nice. Fourth DC, that would be nice. Oh, gotcha.
I think it's playable. Yeah, it should be playable. He was asking to see my economy, but my economy suffered. <laughs> my economy is gonna terrible up a little bit here. Hello, brother. What's going on, Nidenza? Thank you so much. Push them with these two mangonels. Dude, I want to buy food so badly, but the prices are so bad. GG, you two. Honestly, you played a great game. Honestly, you played a really good game. This might have been, uh, I think this is as close as shot yet. Honestly, I think the only thing that the only things that went wrong is that he made a tower even though I never really attacked him. It's like it's nice to play safe sometimes, but sometimes it's overly safe as well. And um Yeah, I, I think that's it, honestly. The rest was solid. The scrim switch was perfect. Uh Arches early was solid, so you don't die to the Eagles, that was good. I think he played pretty well. Maybe just a, yeah, just a little too safe for that tower. 70 Vils. Maybe he should have been on a bit more as well. I feel like he did a lot of damage to me. He was in the right place at the right time with his, with his crossbows. Um, yeah, definitely a nice one. Solid game, solid game. Yeah, maybe faster TCs for him. And like, if he doesn't do the tower, he'll get the faster TCs, right? Yeah, pretty solid. He's ranked 90. 2350. Close in build count. Again, e even at the end, I, I think he just resigned because he's like, whatever, I'll probably lose here. But honestly, it's like kind of playable. Again, a nice build lead here, which was going to be good. But if he can scale towards like something like hand cannon here, hand cannon near skirm, maybe. It's always a chance. <laughs> 